Hi guys and welcome back to the Black Sea Empire campaign where today we are continuing our challenge to try and take all of the cities on the Black Sea. Last time we didn't take so many cities but we definitely did do a lot of stuff in terms of getting another horse archer army up over here that is ready to be reinforced as well as well as uh, sending this army down here to destroy Adrissa which uh, was obviously <laughs> not exactly on the plan but quite funny nonetheless i would say <laughs> um so that is a uh, very very good for us we do have a couple of things that we can get started on right away first of all it is the siege of torikos over here with this army that is dominated by horse archers of course it's going to have more in the future but let's get into this this should not be too difficult my friends well, guys, one slight difference we've done this time is I've only used four horse archers right at the front here. I think that's worked quite a lot better because we've had zero friendly fire. Whereas if I'd have put them all together over here, I think we would have had quite a large bit of friendly fire, honestly. So we're going to get our guys in um, and then we're going to see what we can do. Maybe trying to kill the rest of these guys with our horse archers. Well, here comes the Greek hoplites. I think we should be able to break these guys relatively easily because their general's actually dead, guys. <laughs> he did die already, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> uh, poor him. And then all they have left is Uzonoi and Projomoi. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too difficult from now on, I've got to say. Well, here we go. We're basically baiting the Uzonoi in towards us. I've put all these guys here, so hopefully they should be able to fire on the town square. I'm going to send these boys around as well, although I don't think they're going to be needed, let's be honest. You guys should be able to fire your javelins now. There we go. Good. They are overlapping slightly, of course, so not going to be able to fire them too well. But hopefully we do enough damage to maybe break these guys some point soon. Well, we did manage to break them, but unfortunately they got back to the town square. So hopefully we can do some damage to them again, guys. Stop running forwards. <laughs> That's not what we need why are you doing that <laughs> classic pathic classic pathic but um well, i don't know what's happening right now honestly hopefully the use idea will, will try and do something there we go that's that's what we like to see and i break again that's that's the problem they break and just go to the town square and then they're inv invincible again so hopefully we can drag them off the town square here somehow or just kill them with missiles well then, I think we've had enough of this, guys. We are just going to charge in with everyone. And uh, hopefully we can uh, kill them all as quickly as possible. There they go. Perfect. Fantastic, guys. Nice and easy battle. Uh, we only lost 36, but is it actually 36? No, it's more like 46, but 10 to friendly fire. That's a good improvement from what we've done before, isn't it? Well, there we go. Another settlement. And I believe this is a Greek one. So let's enslave just to keep them happy um, rather than destroy anything. We do have people that we can leave behind. So uh, that is exactly what we're going to do. Although, oh, they are so happy. They are very, very happy. So uh, let's, go, uh, let's go down the coast because this army, of course, is going to be coming along the coast. Like I said before, we are going to wait for these guys to kind of catch up somewhat at least. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, I think we're at the end turn there. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, wow, guys. The Adrissians have come with another army. That is fantastic for us because I'd much rather face them out on the fields uh, than anywhere else. They do have a significant amount of cavalry again. But hopefully our horse archers can do exactly what they did last time. So let's go. Pick up the spear and shield. Put on your helmet. Put aside the fear in your hearts and remember that you are the sons of great soldiers. Yes. Well, we've got a few good shots off on the enemy to start with, guys. Um, just trying to take out their cavalry like we did exactly the last time in one of these big battles. I am still worried about the rest of their milit like sort of light infantry and everything because they've got so many missile troops. Um, but hopefully we'll still be able to catch them by the end. And we're basically just blocking off the Hippocontistae over this side. We're also going to block off these boys over this side as well. And try and chase them down somewhat. I'm going to bring my cavalry around here too. This little army here of the Romfire Foroi and the General is the one inside the city. So ideally I would like to uh, 
you know, get rid of those boys if we can. Well, looks like they're coming in for the charge, guys. So we are going to charge them ourselves. And we should break them very, very easily. There we go. The only issue is, I think if they remain this size, they 100% will come back. Um, and there we go. Here comes more Hippocontisti. So uh, let's see if we can charge them down at all. Looks like we're not going to be able to. So uh, let's just come back with our cavalry here then. And uh, try and be a little bit more conservative. Especially with these guys. That was not what we wanted to do. That was not what we wanted to do. All the way over there. They've got Light Lancers here. I mean, if they go for the attack with the Light Lancers, I'm not too bothered because, as I've said many times before, the Light Lancers are absolute trash. Right then, let's charge the Rumfire Foray because we've seen many times before how bad they are against cavalry. Even rubbish cavalry. There we go. Even Progemoy can absolutely smack them around. But let's have a look at these Royal Thracian bodyguards. Rally the men. This is going to be very tough because these guys are insanely good. We just have to try and get the jump on them, I guess. We do have, obviously, a lot more men. Um, what are these Light Lancers doing? Uh, let's, let's go and have a go at them then, shall we? <laughs> that was very strange. But they are going to be able to flank us here, I believe. How are we not killing the Light Lancers faster than that? We got the charge off on them. But uh, this is the main battle, honestly. And we are starting to win it. There we go. Good. And we've basically killed the Romfire Foroy. Fantastic. Now let's uh, turn and face these boys before they themselves charge us. And that very much looks like we now have cavalry dominance, my friends. So uh, let's get out the back and uh, hope that they bring some of their actual infantry into the fight here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now we're just taking a bit of a defensive position, hopefully taking out the rest of their cavalry, all that sort of thing. Ideally, I just want to get rid of the Romfire Foroy and then the rest of my cavalry, once they've had a little bit of a rest, can go after everyone else. Well, I think we just come forward and charge over here, guys. I don't think we mess around any longer. Let's see if we can go and get those boys as well. And then with the uh, cavalry, we're going to get into the action now. We're going to start moving. And uh, if we can get rid of them, that would be good. The Romfire Foroy are impetuous, so we can't do much about that. Uh, but once we've uh, got moving properly, we'll bring the horse archers through as well. And here we go, guys. We are starting to just clean up all the light infantry and all that sort of thing. The only problem is the Rumfire Foray. But there goes one of their generals at least, which is very nice for us. Hopefully we can uh, get him. I don't want him to survive. And you boys need to come this way. These guys are just running rampant through all the slingers and all the absolute trash troops at the back. It is nice to have cavalry dominance, honestly. We're losing a lot of troops here. I wonder what to. I wonder what to. Maybe you can fire at that guy? Can you fire at him? No, apparently not. So he will go on to survive. That's unfortunate for us. But uh, we're just going to keep on moving here, guys. Well, there goes their whole army, guys. We are basically the winners now. Fantastic. Let's go. Well, there we go, guys. Absolutely glorious victory there for us. 1,183 casualties inflicted. And we literally only lost about 250 men. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice indeed. It was actually the Progemoy that did most of the kills there. But that is because, of course, they were charging down so many low-tier units there. Very nice. Absolutely glorious. So let's get off this map. Hopefully, Adrissia doesn't want a round three. But uh, let's find out. And there we go. Let's exterminate Corylopolis. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with Corylopolis that we did with um, Adrissa. We're going to destroy everything inside here. Get the money from it. We do not want this land. I really don't care about it. In fact, I ideally would not like this land because it does border the Seleucids, I believe. Or is that the Thracians? Yeah, the Seleucids. Like, we don't want to border the Seleucids, ideally, <laughs> if we can help it. Um, we can't destroy that or that, but let's destroy Dionysus. Actually, they are happy here with, with the army inside, which is rather strange. Um... But like I've said before, that's absolutely fine. I don't really want to lose those boys because they are um, very well um, done. So let's uh, take you guys out of here. Let's send you guys there. And there we go. Perfect. We do have a diplomat around here. We did get a diplomat, didn't we? I think he's in here. Yeah, let's go and talk to Adrissa. Uh, let, Adrissa, let's Our see what they, they want. You were very demanding. Very demanding for a ceasefire. That, that makes no sense. Like, we're just destroying you, bro. We're absolutely destroying you. 
But honestly, I think at this point, like, I think it's a waste to go after Adrissia anymore. Like, they're, they are just a waste. Um, so, I think we're just going to go home with this army and retrain it. So, let's go all the way up to there. And we'll be able to retrain it next turn. We're also going to recruit two more horse art, Three more horse archers, should I say. For that army. Um, to fill in the gap. It, it only needs two, but we'll get three just in case. Uh, oh my god, I forgot Celembria has a single Thracian belt ass in it. <laughs> the single guard this whole time. <laughs> Fantastic. Up in the north, we are going to get those guys in there now as well. I'm going to bring these boys out and they are back to being happy. Obviously, we had civil disorder in Adrissa, but it's... We're kind of... We're, that's what we're aiming for, let's be honest. Um, you guys can go and join over there. You guys can go and join up too. And you can keep on coming. So let's move further down. And like I say, it's only one turn left to go now. Now we've waited for all these reinforcements. So we are just going to leave it be. And yeah, you can jump off the ships there. And that is loads more reinforcements. Fantastic. Do we want to maybe swap out some of those boys? No, these guys are all sort of trained. So yeah, maybe we do want to swap out a couple of those boys. Hmm. Go send them back for retraining. Well, we can decide that next turn if this navy survives, I guess. Over in the east, we are going to continue our march down this way, which doesn't look the most fun battle to fight, I've got to say. But these ones do look a lot easier. Um... And we've got our spy here too. And you can see these cities, most of them have a lot less. So it shouldn't be as difficult. Right then, guys, let's end the turn. I don't think we need to do anything else. I think we're in a good position. I've queued up a lot of recruitment, done a couple of buildings. So we are ready to go. And the Bessie want trade rights, oh, which thanks. means they're going to declare war on us. Great. Okay, no. Proposal. Maybe we're allies, but that didn't stop the Idrissians, did it? And here come the free peoples coming out of the city. Um, over in the north. So uh, let's fight this and hopefully we can destroy them. And this time I didn't forget that these battles start right away. <laughs> Which is a rarity for me, I've got to be honest. Um, so let's get our boys really far forward. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pop a load of horse archers on one side. They might get shot by the towers a little bit. And then we're going to pop a load of horse archers on the other side and I mean I don't think they're going to be able to do much against that I'm not going to lie <laughs> Like, what can they do against such reckless hate <laughs> and just look at this guys just look at this arrows coming from all directions <laughs> shoot the step axeman guys shoot the step axeman you're shooting the wrong people now you're shooting the wrong people shoot the step axeman <laughs> But there, as soon as they start shooting them, absolute chaos ensues. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and just every unit is getting... Ab it's like a Gatling gun. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we do need to be wary of their uh, cavalry, of course. But they haven't even got them out of the city yet. So we don't need to be that wary, do we? <laughs> well, I'm just going to bring my infantry back because they are getting shredded by our own archers here. Which, yeah, slightly unfortunate, but it should be fine. In fact, we're probably going to bring these guys out to deal with the step cavalry. So uh, let's go and do that. And that is actually all of their infantry gone. Like, literally all of it. So, yeah. Now it's just time to deal with the step cavalry. So uh, let's go. Remember, we don't even need to win this, guys. This could just be a draw. And uh, we would win. So, yeah. That's, that's pretty good for us. And unfortunately, the cavalry is glitched out for them. So they've only managed to send one unit out. Um, and it's getting absolutely shredded, as you can see. They're still eager, so I'm not sure about that one. But, yeah, I don't think they would be too eager after that. And we are going to go and knock down the gates just for uh, just for special measure. And as you can see, the rest of them are just completely, uh, completely glitched here. So, and we're just shredding them. <laughs> and now we've knocked down the gates. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I don't really know what else we could do here right now. We're just killing them before they even come out of the city. <laughs> um, well, that's a draw. We did, Like I say, we don't even need to win because it was the last, last turn. So uh, let's do that. We lost one. They killed one, but we actually... <laughs> 
We actually lost like 66 to uh, friendly fire, but they killed a singular unit. <laughs> that is glorious. Oh, I love horse archers sometimes, guys. And there we go. We'll uh, enslave once again. And we do have these guys who are ready to uh, garrison this point. So uh, let's just keep on moving. And uh, yeah, we'll put it down onto low. Can you reach there? Oh my days, it's so close. Oh, that is that is incredibly unfortunate. You can't even reach there. Well, we'll pop you in there. Get you guys moving along. You guys can move along too. On to the next one, Tanias. And then Tanias is actually a really nice, uh, nice, nice place here because we've got horses and grain in Tanias, and it has no walls. Um, the, wa the ones with the walls are, of course, a lot more annoying. Um, but yeah, we should have probably joined up some of those troops there, honestly. But a bit of a mistake on my part. Let's uh, let's keep on going. And are they happy? They are plenty happy. Let's uh, let's focus on building now, um, because we didn't last turn, like I said. So that is glorious. And like I mentioned last turn, guys, having a Drissa is not good because. It means the Seleucids could declare war on us. And that's exactly what they've done. Thank you, Seleucids. This is why I hate the AI on harder difficulties in this game, bro. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Like, they, they were allied to us, Adrissia. They're losing on this flank. The Bessie have more land than them over here. Yet, rather than actually defending their lands and trying to shore up their defenses, they declare war on their ally. That is a very one-head move, that in my opinion. That is a very one-head move. Like, that is just so stupid. And now it puts us to war with the Seleucids, which we had no reason to be at war with before. Oh my god. Just, just ridiculous. Honestly ridiculous. Like, just stupid. The worst thing about this, guys, is it just opens the door to so much. If they take Adrissa, they can go on to Bizia and then our whole coast. And I know for a fact they'll have some large full stacks um, around somewhere. <laughs> and I don't even want this. The worst thing is, I don't even want a Drissa. Like, I just don't even want it. But no one will take it. Like, I've tried to give it to people. They won't even take it. Like, a Drissia won't even take it for a ceasefire. Which is just so stupid. Like, why could, would you not take your capital back for a ceasefire when you're getting your ass handed to you? It makes no sense. Ah, oh, well... Let's just ignore that for a moment. <laughs> Let's go somewhere where the tidings can be a little bit happier. And we'll go to Hanoiokon Kome, which is over here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go for this. They actually don't have any cavalry in here. It's just a Caucasian hillman, Asian light spearman, and a few arch units with no walls. So this should be uh, fun, let's say. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We are just going to uh, absolutely destroy these boys with our horse archers, as we should do, as we always should do. And, uh, yeah, should be quite fun, so uh, let's go. And I think we can risk uh, charging into the Asian archers over here with these horse archers, because there's not really any support nearby. And, uh, obviously, these guys are distracting the bulk of the rest of the army there. There we go. Let's kill them all, and uh, then we'll... Uh, We'll keep the pressure on. I do love this style of town, though. This is really cool. I, I've never, I've not seen this, like, for a very long time. So, um, and I've hardly seen it. So, I do like uh, seeing that brand new sort of style of town. Looks like their general is coming for a little bit of the action. So, we'll keep on moving backwards. Hopefully, we can uh, can break him pretty quickly. I mean, the Asian Royal Bodyguards, though, are fantastic units. So, keep coming, boys. Keep coming. Hopefully, we can get our general into it or he will just die from the arrows well there we go he's dead <laughs> this is just insane this is just insane i love horse archers so much <laughs> yes 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 oh these poor guys they keep coming out and charging and just dying <laughs> like these poor guys i do feel bad for them i mean i would be annoyed as well well obviously they that you'd be dead, so you couldn't really be annoyed, but <laughs> it's just so unfortunate for them, isn't it? Just so unfortunate. Uh, you need horse archers, my friends. You need to, you know, have some people with that the, like sitting on horses and fire uh, arrows around, you know. But uh, but no, you, you don't seem to want that. 
And let's just enjoy the Gatling gun in action, my friends. Let's watch this as the arrows stream into the Caucasian hillman. There we go. Keep firing. Keep firing, man. More volleys. More volleys. More volleys. There we go. They are running away, unfortunately. But um, that's a good opportunity for us to keep on firing. Come on, man. Fire. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's just insane. It is just insane. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Let's see the damage. How many men did we lose? Oh, 13. But it was actually more like 40 from the friendly fire. But 40 versus 950. I think we'll take that any day of the week, wouldn't we? Absolutely glorious. And once again, let us enslave over here. It is only a village. And we can't build that right now because we need a little bit of cash. So I'm willing to maybe just take a bit of cash from over here. Because we're unlikely to build any stables in Zygopolis at any point. And that should be enough to build that. Fantastic. Good. Do we continue, though? That is the one question I do have. Um, I think we do. I think we do. Let's uh, leave behind one of the Akontistai. I'm not sure that's going to be enough to keep them happy. But once... Uh, once the town is built, then they will definitely be happy because it'll be our style town um, rather than anything else. And look at the money difference from when we have a non-retrained army <laughs> to when we have a fully retrained army. It, it's, it's quite a lot, I've got to say, isn't it? <laughs> so let's uh, come across. We also want these boys and we want... Do we want you? No, what we're going to do is we're going to send you... Over this way. It's going to take you some time. Um, oh, and you got stuck there anyway. Well, that's fine. Um, let's get Mentos over here. Let's come down to there. And then we want all of those boys. That should be the perfect amount. Let's just check. It is not. So I should have taken that horse such. Oh, no. I missed these guys, didn't I? Well, that's okay. Do I bother coming back down here? And as you can see, this place did revolt back to the Thracians, which who we are at war with, remember. But I would rather the Thracians have this land than anyone else. I don't mind, you know, beating the Thracians back every now and then. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is just gathering a bit of a, like, Trollian infantry. Do we go for that? I mean, that's kind of a bit expensive. But an army like that, would probably be enough to beat whatever that is. So I think we do that. We'll do that in a little minute. But first of all, let's uh, let's decide what we want to do with this army. I really don't know. I'm thinking we start going along the coast here. Ignoring Bithynia for now. And yeah, probably just going after like Pontic Pentapolis maybe and Pontus. Because they'll be... I just don't want to have to fight that basically. So, yeah. <laughs> well, over at Piteus over here, I think I'm just going to auto-resolve 100 men. Honestly, I don't mind losing that at all. Let's uh, keep on moving along the coast then. So that's Piteus. Then we're going to go for the Greeks. We are going to declare war on them, even though, uh, you know, uh, we were neutral to them before. Um, but Tyras has grown now as well. That is good. Very nice. We will get that in there next turn if we have the money. Because we don't actually have much money at the moment. We are still recruiting though. That is that is the one thing. Like, do we need all of these troops? I mean, I feel like we do. <laughs> can never have too many troops, guys, can you? Let's be honest. Um, and yeah, we actually got some Thurio Foroi here too. So we are like kind of building up a second army. Um, which, as you can see, we got these two guys as garrison troops. They need to start making their way down the coast, but they are very slow, um, which is unfortunate for them. We got you guys as well. So there we go. That's another small little army. What I think we might be able to do with that one, though, is if we just pop them in Scopelos, then we basically are warding off the Sirachis from breaking their alliance like the Adrissians did. Right then, let's fight these Seleucids and uh, just get rid of them. They have a general, and that's basically all, and some Peltas, so it shouldn't be too difficult. To be fair, I wasn't expecting this. I mean, I know we fought them on a bridge, but uh, yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. Um, like, where are they? Oh, they're over there. So they didn't even defend the bridge. Well done, Seleucids. Well done. 
And when you're going to use the Romfire Foroy against the, uh, the Peltasts, and just the cavalry against the cavalry. That's the main thing. Making sure we use all of the ammo of these boys on their general before we do anything about them. So uh, there we go. There goes the run fire four. They should just be able to uh, chase those boys down all day long. So uh, there we go. Well, here we go. We are firing at the Seleucid bodyguard. He hasn't lost any men yet. And he is going to go for a cheeky charge on our mercenary run fire four. But it wasn't actually a very good charge. So... Uh, yeah, you guys just keep on firing your javis. And then once they've uh, lost a few men, we will charge in. Looks like uh, the Romfire 4 are going to lose. Obviously, the Romfire 4, are, like we said many times before, awful against cavalry. So uh, that is their only weakness, really. Um, and missiles, of course. Um, but against everything else, they just absolutely destroy. So uh, let's keep on firing, though. We want to make sure this... General's bodyguard unit is down to very few men before we charge. Well, there we go. The Peltas have broken. So I think it's time that we do charge on into these guys and make sure they can't get away. The Romfire 4 I need to come as well so we can surround them and kill this general. Well, that was easy. <laughs> there we go. Nice, guys. Nice. Well, Seleucids, that's what you get. And we didn't even need to use horse archers this time. <laughs> Oh, Zalusis, please, Adrissa, just revolt back to the Thracians, and then we have a nice buffer. To be honest, even at, at this point, I'd even take Adrissa, like, revolting to the Adrissians, because they're a lot easier enemy to fight than, uh, of course, the uh, uh, the Seleucids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a fort here next turn, and basically just block off the bridge, because the Seleucids shouldn't really be able to come through here, because they'll get blocked by that that area there so this will be the only place they can really come so in fact we'll oh we can't put the fort there we have to put it here so uh, that's what we'll do next time for now though we're just going to pop into there and then i can sort of garrison it with all of these guys i'm also thinking of putting a fort like just here or like here just to stop the adrissians from attacking us up in the north which looks like they're gonna do so I think that's everything, guys. Oh, no, it's not. We can do this battle. So uh, let's go for that. And once again, I'm probably not going to show this as much, guys, because we are just going to use exactly the same tactic as we did last time. Basically, just horse archering these guys to death. <laughs> Still, just every time I do this, it is so pleasurable. <laughs> it's so fun to just watch that number just go down so quickly when they're firing. Like, it's it's just insane. It is just insane. Like, look at that. <laughs> Well, the poor lonely general Biggestickus is trying to uh, to do some damage, but he just cannot. <laughs> Unfortunately, he cannot. Well, there we go, guys. Apparently, we lost 20, but we actually lost 36. But 36 lost 593 killed. Pretty darn good again. Let's go. And I think for Tanias, again, let's end slave. And it is only a village. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to try and find... Um, a little bit more money somewhere. There we go. Found a little bit of money, so we can now build that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just keep on going, guys. Let's keep on churning. Right then, let's end the turn there, guys, and uh, let's see what happens. Well then, guys, let's uh, set up our fort over here. It is a lot of money, unfortunately, but uh, that's fine. And we'll take all of these guys. I'm going to take the general out though, because of course. Uh, no point having the general in there. And then what I'm thinking of doing is... Oh, we, we'll have to fight that if I want to build a port, uh, a fort over this way. I mean, we could just build a fort like here. And that should hopefully keep the Adrissians off our back. Apparently, uh, that is not enough to keep them happy. I mean, the fort is not there to, to really do anything. It's just to stop the AI. Because... <laughs> Like, I just think it's stupid that the Seleucids have declared war on us when we don't even want Adrissa. And, like, it's stupid that the Adrissians declare war on us anyway when they're losing. Um, so, yeah, and won't have a ceasefire. Um, Bessie, by the way, won't even take Adrissa if I give it to them as a gift. So, yeah, just no one wants this place. I know we have destroyed everything, guys, but it still has a gold mine. Like, it's still worthwhile having. <laughs> but apparently nobody wants it, but... Ah, it's fine. Let's uh, also just auto-resolve this. I don't think it's going to be too bad. 138. Like I've said before, guys, I'm really not bothered about taking those losses there. That's not bad at all. Um, especially when it speeds everything up so much. We're also going to jump you guys on the boats there and bring you down. And we will be ferrying troops to and fro 
Like, uh, especially these guys um, from that army as we go along. So we're going to gather them all up together. All of the troops that we have got. I believe we've got troops in there too. And we're going to bring them to this port here. There we go. And uh, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, no. The Sirachis have taken this. Oof. That is exactly not what we wanted, guys. <laughs> exactly not what we wanted. Um, how are you guys doing? Still 51%. Well, I think we can stick you guys in. Honestly, next turn they should be happy, so I'm not bothered about them rioting one more turn. And look, guys, there's Trapezus, and they've actually expanded. I mean, this is the interesting thing about this challenge, because I genuinely have no idea what is going on around here. It, it could all be dominated by Pontus. Trapezus could be a massive empire now. Pontic Pentapolis could be massive. The Galatians could have conquered some of it, like... I genuinely don't know. We can see that Pontic Pentapolis has land here. But apart from that, and that Trapezus does, like, that's all we can see until we get our spies around there. So, yeah, this is uh, quite interesting at this point. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. Let's have a look at where we are standing. I mean, like, we have expanded a lot this episode. We've got two more up here. We've got one two three four five more down the uh, the coast over there obviously nothing over here but we will have some more very soon i don't think we're too far off finishing this you know um but let's see i mean this this piece of land here guys just for full disclosure when we get to this one we're going to leave it till the end i am just going to turn the toggle fog of war on and i might if it's like five turns away because it's it's literally all the way up here or something if it's like five turns away, I might just like, um, you know, uh, teleport a unit there because screw that. <laughs> like, why is this on the Black Sea coast? It's a massive territory. Um, but apart from that, we are obviously just uh, marching around. But I think that's been a very, very successful episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Please do like and subscribe. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And once again, massive thank you to the channel members. Thank you very much for being channel members. If you are interested in doing that, guys, there is a link down in the description below where you can be a channel member for as little as $1 a month. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.